My name is Brendan, I'm 45, um, originally from London uh, but moved to Berlin from Scotland after working 16 years in Scotland with my partner John and our two dogs. We first visited Berlin in May of 2006 and uh, were absolutely blown away by the place. It wasn't what either of us were expecting at all. And after about the third visit of 2006, it was kind of sealed that this is where we were heading. Um, we'd been in a, a very small community in the, the Highlands of Scotland for five years and a, a village of 500 people. 300 people and um, we just fell in love with the city and just thought this is where we really want to head the the the, the freedom and the um, just the whole feel of the city was instantly attractive and we thought we could live here where do we go out in berlin uh, well we, we're very local we tend to stay in the keats um, and we uh, there's a few regulars there's tramps there's uh, mario's which is now max um, Scheuner, um, new action, particularly on the Sunday afternoon. Um, when we've had, when we've got mixed company, it gets a little bit more complicated. When we've got um, when we've got girls with us, uh, so then we tend to we would go to Kazex um, or to the Pussycat Club. Pussycat Club is like stepping back into the it's like stepping back into the sixties in London. It's fantastic. You expect Sister George to be in the corner. Um, it's a big blue frontage in uh, Kalkreuthstrasse, just off. Um, Monstrasse here, and there's um, there's a great big door, and you hammer on the door, and the, she comes and she pulls back this hatch in the door, and sort of looks out and looks you up and down to see who you are, then slams the hatch back shut again, then opens the door, and in you come, and it's like being in somebody's living room. We've had dogs for ten years, um, from our very first dog. Well, they've all they've all been rescue dogs. Um, these two, Jules and Jess, that we've got now are. Um, are very old. Um, they're 15 and 14, and they've both they've all been rescue dogs. Our first dog um, was was from Cardinal Dog Home in Glasgow. One of them doesn't actually have her own bed in Tramps. Um, she, we do tend to bring a doggy bag with us that has uh, comfy blankets for them to lie on because the the floor's cold. It's a metal floor in Tramps, um, and uh, she does tend to just nod off to sleep after a while because she's not that interested. I was walking down Montstrasse towards Victoria Louisa Platz, and I spotted these two uh, bronze cobblestones in the street um, and they're, they're inscribed and they have the details of who lived in that house when and then the point that struck me is that I, I figured out that they had been taken to Auschwitz and they had died in Auschwitz. Um, that set me off thinking what are they there for and, and you know why. So I set about trying to sort of figure, figure them out. It took ages, because my German's not that good. So it took ages across loads of, try to Google all sorts of things. And eventually I had a little bit of a breakthrough um, and figured out they are an artwork by an artist called Gunter Demnig, who is, he creates these memorial stones. They're called Stolpersteiner, which translates as stumbling blocks, stumbling stones. They're just there for you to, to stumble upon. Um, and there are 22,000 of them throughout Berlin, Germany, Austria, most of Europe, they are scattered all over Europe and he makes every one of them by hand. And they are inserted into the pavement outside the last known residence of people who were murdered by the Nazis. What's the worst thing I've done in Berlin? Um, I haven't done anything that outrageous. Um, I've had a, few, a couple of embarrassing moments. I mean, one was the first week I'd moved here. John was following on um, a week later and I was here on my own for the first week. And I went to Scheuner and uh, it was a foam party. And I just, and I still had my Scottish Highlands head on and went, oh, no, 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 I couldn't possibly, I couldn't possibly. And I turned around and I'm walking back up the road again and I thought to myself, are you mad? You've just moved to a new city. You've just decided to sort of, you know, one, one of the sexiest cities in, the, in Europe and, you, and then you're going, oh, no, I couldn't possibly go naked in a foam party. So I turned myself, turned on my heels and went back, went in, had a fantastic time. It was such a riot. I mean, there was foam up to here. Um, I had such a fun time. I made the mistake of staying 10 minutes too long. And I came back upstairs and they'd started to let 
general public in again by this point. It was open to all comers by this point, and I'm covered in foam, walking up the stairs to see three guys I know from Glasgow sitting on the bench there staring right at me. Hello. Bye. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.